I'd love to um, explain a little bit more about improvisation. I know it can seem really daunting and scary at first, um, but a really good place to start is just thinking about maybe your favorite melody and think about how you might um, spice it up a little bit or embellish it or maybe even calling that ornamenting it, ornamentation. Um, and so I'm going to today sort of walk you through this idea of embellishing a melody with the song Happy Birthday. I think we all know that one. So I'm going to take us through three different ways of, of embellishing it and then try to mix them all together. So the first way is by changing the rhythm. Uh, the second way is by adding some neighbor notes, what we call neighbor notes, notes that are right next door to the notes that are in the song. Uh, and then we're going to add some arpeggios. So when you know the chords to a song, you can run up and down them in between uh, the notes of the melody. And then we'll close by trying to do a mixture of, of all three of those. So let's start by just hearing the melody to Happy Birthday. I was using a metronome um, so that you can tell where the beat is at all times because now when I demonstrate the rhythm or improvising with the rhythm um, you have to be able to hear how I'm changing it so you'll notice that sometimes the metronome beeps but I don't play exactly with it maybe I'll play between the metronome clicks um, and that I'm doing completely spontaneously. So I'm still playing all the same notes, but I'm messing with the rhythm and adding some rests here and, and moving some notes around. So check out what that sounds like. The next way that I'll demonstrate is by taking the notes of the melody and just adding one or two notes, maybe one above, maybe one below. So what I call these is neighbor tones. So think about your next door neighbor. It's right one, one over this way, one over that way. That's what we're doing with the main pitches of the melody. And our third way of embellishing um, is a little bit more complicated and it involves chords and arpeggios. So when you're playing a song, if you know the chords to the song, then what you can do is actually play the melody um, of your song and then in between the notes of the melody, you can add little arpeggios just going up and down. And then you're gonna start to hear a little bit of interplay between those arpeggios and the melody itself. Sounds a little bit more like we're inching towards jazz, inching towards improvisation. Now we're going to try to fuse all three of these things together. So I'm going to try to mess with the rhythm a little bit. I'm going to try to add some neighbor tones, no, notes right next to the, the, to the main um, pitches of the song. And I'm going to add some arpeggios throughout. And so now I'm completely improvising. I'm still thinking about my melody, but when I feel like it, maybe throw in an arpeggio. Oh, maybe throw in a different rhythm. 
maybe throw in something else. So these are some ways to just get started with improvisation. So I'd encourage you all to try it with your favorite song. Thank you so much, Stephen. Bye, everyone.